Hi guys, this is Mike, and in today's video we're going to be discussing part 4 of our series on morphological searching. In particular, we're going to be looking at the analysis view of our search results in a morph search. The analysis view gives us additional details about any search that we run within a morphological search, or other searches for that matter. So sit back and relax, and let's go ahead and get started. Let's begin this video by opening up our preferred Greek text. So for this particular video, I've been using the Nestle Alon 28th edition, and I'm going to go ahead and continue to do that. And make sure that you turn your Greek text to John 3.16, because that's been the verse we've been working out of this series. And we're going to once again run a search off of the lemma cosmos for every time that, it's, um, that it shows up in the Greek New Testament. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on the word cosmon in John 3.16 select Lemma in my context menu, and then run Search This Resource. So this will find all of the instances of Cosmos as it appears in the Greek New Testament. Now so far in our search results panel, we've been using the view known as Verses. But notice that there are another two views that are available to us. One being Aligned, which just basically lines up all of our search hits in a row, so you can view preceding and uh, following text really easily to view words in context. But another view, and by my opinion the most powerful of all of them, is called the Analysis view. So go ahead and click Analysis, and what this is going to do is it's going to display all of our search results within a pretty exhaustive data table that lists all kinds of different information. Notice we've got lemma, we've got launida numbers, roots, senses, parts of speech, cases, gender, so on and so forth. So this is just a quick way that you can view tons of additional information on all of our search results. And what's really cool about this table as well is that you can organize by any one of these columns. So if I want to view these in order, well, I can simply click the uh, column header. So if I want to see all of these organized by case, I can click the column header row for case. And that now has organized these alphabetically by the case. So notice we've got accusative first, dative, and if we keep scrolling, we'll find our genitive instances. So that's one way to organize. So I'm going to go ahead and organize back by reference again so we can get, put these back in canonical reference. Instead of clicking on the column header, I can also drag this column header up to an area to organize by it. Notice that just above the table, if you're using a Mac, it says Option plus click a column header and drag here to group by it. If you're using a Windows version, it'll say click a column header and drag. You don't need to hold down an Option key. So let's go ahead and organize this by the case. So I'm going to hold Option and click and drag this up until I see this little green plus icon and drop it in. Notice you got to drop it into this exact area or else it's not going to work. Now all of our cases that appear in our search results are now available in expandable and collapsible folders. We can cl quickly collapse all the folders by right clicking within one of the row headers within these sections and selecting collapse all. Notice now I can see all of the different cases that appear within my search results. We've got 72 instances in the, gen in the genitive, 46 accusative, 36 dative, and 32 nominative. So that's pretty cool. So we can expand the genitive section and look at just the instances in the genitive case. Now we could do this same sort of filtering by using our at symbol up here and running particular morphological forms, or we can view them in general here. Now one of the other cool things is that you can do with this is you can sort by secondary columns as well. So one of the really cool um, lexical pieces of information within Logo 6 is what's called the Bible Sense Lexicon. And that's represented by the Sense column here. And this is something particular to the Logos Bible software platform. This isn't available anywhere else out in the world. So this is, in essence, organizing or defining words as they're used in their particular context. So for instance, the lemma cosmos is a very flexible word. It can mean a bunch of different things in its given context. So notice sometimes it's uh, understood or defined as earth, sometimes as the world or the total creation, or as an orderly universe, or as the world populace, such as in John 3.16. 
lots of different senses. Well, we can organize secondarily by the sense of the word by doing the same thing. I'll hold down the Option key, click and drag the column up here and drop it in, and now we've got a secondary sort by sense. Now, if we want to see all of these, we can right-click within one of these column rows and instead click Summary View, and this will give us a quick summary view of all of the first organized by case and secondarily organized by sense within that. Notice that the number one sense within the genitive case is something known as the world system. And if we mouse over this, we get a tooltip that defines this sense. This is the people constituting the world whose values, beliefs, and morals are in distinction and rebellion to gods. So this is when you hear like Jesus commanding people not to be of the world. This is what he's talking about. So we'll look at John 8.23 in particular. Here Jesus says, He said to them, you are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. Now, Jesus is obviously not saying that he's not in the flesh here in the world. That wouldn't make any sense. He's right there in front of them. But what he's saying is, I'm not of this world system that's in rebellion against God like you are. So this is one of the many instances of the word cosmos and how it can be understood in context. Now notice if we view this same word in John 3.16, we can actually right click on the word in the context and actually see the sense within the context menu. Here the word is referring to the world populace as opposed to the world system. So this is just the general people as, as a whole, not a particular system in rebellion to God. So that's a really neat piece of lexical information that you can be found within the analysis window off of a simple lemma search. So this is just giving you some of the flexibility and options that are available to you once you just run a simple lemma search, how you can use analysis to hone in and refine your search even further to find particular types of information. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see further videos, either from this series or from others, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking here. Well, I hope that you can take what you've learned today to continue to move forward in mining the depths of the scriptures using Logos Bible software. Until next time.